Good day everyone, I am Maya Nalodia and the Las Reyes from 11 STEM Wisdom. And today, I will be discussing the two classification of random variable, which are the discrete random variable and continuous random variable. First, our objective is, at the end of the lesson, students are expected to distinguish random variable as discrete random variable or continuous random variable. What is a discrete random variable? A discrete random variable is a variable which can only take on a countable number of values, finite or countably infinite. This type of random variable is all about whole number, like the total numbers of something and so on. This is a countable data, kayang bilangin. For example, number of children in a family. Say there are six children in a family. Next, the number of patients doctor sees in one day. This is a countable number because they have a list of patients who they check up within the day. Third, the Friday night attendance at the cinema. Next, continuous random variable. A continuous random variable is a variable that takes an infinitely uncountable number of possible values, typically measurable quantities. This type of random variable is uncountable but measurable, like the time of reaction, electrical current, weight, height, mass, volume, and so on. So, this is all about the measurable quantities. These have too many possible values to list out or to count. For example, I'm required to perform a job. Um, each person have different ways of doing something. So, we need to measure it to know the value or to know the time. Second, volume of soft drinks in a 12-ounce can. Third example is the weight of a one-year-old baby. So, i-measure mo pa siya kasi weight. Next. So, again, the difference between discrete random variable and continuous random variable is that discrete random variable is countable data na bibilang. While the continuous random variable is uncountable data but measurable na hindi na bibilang pero nasusukat. So, to see if you have learned something, let us have an assessment. Here, you will classify each random variable as discrete or continuous random variable. For number one, the number of defective light bulbs in a box of 10. What will be the answer? Mm, yes, it is a discrete random variable. Why? Because you can see or you can count how many defective light bulbs in a box of 10 when you try them all. Countable. Second, drawing rocks from the fifth floor and observing how long in seconds it takes for each rock to reach the ground. This is a continuous random variable because you will measure how many seconds it, the rock will fall to the ground. Third, time it takes to read a book. This is also a continuous random variable because you will measure the time a person takes a person read a book. Next example. And next question. Doing free throws in basketball and counting how many shots are successful. From the word counting, again, the discrete random variable is countable while the continuous random variable is uncountable. So, number four, this is a discrete random variable. Next, five, observing a class for a week and counting the number of students who arrive late each day. Again, from the word counting, this is a discrete random variable. Six. Number of pages in a mathematics book. 
um, pages is countable, right? So, this is also a discrete random variable. 7. The total number of sales made in a week. This is also a discrete random variable. Next, the number of cars crossing a bridge on a given day. Also a discrete random variable. For number 9, observing a runner and noting how fast he or she runs per practice. The answer here, here will be continuous. Naiiba sa apat. Because for number 9, you will measure how fast the runner runs per practice. So that makes it continuous. For number 10, level of, level of smog in the air in Los Angeles on a given day. You cannot count as mag, so it is a continuous random variable. 11. The time of a 16-year-old girl can hold her breath underwater. Here you will measure how many minutes a girl can hold her breath underwater. So this is a continuous random variable. For number 12, mass of body ball. From the word mass, measure it is a continuous random variable and for the last number number 13 the total number of fingerprints found at the crime scene in a particular day what will be the answer yes it is a discrete random variable naiiba sa tatlo so this is how I will end my presentation. Thank you and I hope you learned something.